Dear Miss Mickey J, can you do a video on those with cancer placements? I have a cancer rising and I'm finding myself right now infatuated with two women involved, should I say. I am recently divorced. The divorce didn't happen that long ago. However, these two women that I have met up with, actually been friends with for a while, are totally in love with me and I don't know what to do with it. They seem to be very attached to the time that we spend together, but all I want to do is just really have some fun. I'm not looking for another relationship right now. I don't know if it's because of the divorce and the partner I'm still attached to or that it's the sex or I will be honest with you right now, I really do think I love these women too. I mean, I dream about having sex with them every day. They don't like reasons, but I would totally love to have sex with them at the same time. I'm just caught between a extreme love triangle of getting over my ex, my own emotions, and trying to convey to these women what I really want to do, and now they don't want anything to do with me. They have both actually dumped me. How do I get them back? Okay. Sign Shorty. All right, um, Shorty, give me a moment. Now what you say? Now what you say? Now what you say? Now what you say? You original, you not a cop. Woo wee! I just want to say y'all out of control. <laughs> welcome to Cancer Season and welcome to the Real Miss Mickey J channel. I'm your host, Michelle Jones, aka Mickey J. Just finished my workout on fall. Um Best workout ever. I mean, one of my best. I am a believer of not showing off, but showing results. And that I intend to do this season. You know, I had to get my little legs toned. And yeah, um, first and foremost, I want to shout out to all the fathers out there. Happy belated Father's Day. We have a lot of wonderful fathers out there, including my own. And you guys are just, you're the ultimate. This includes um, whether you're a stepdad, uncle, brother, mentor, just any kind of fatherly figure in someone's life just know that you have made the difference there's a reason father's day falls into the month of june where you have the communicators and the energy from gemini season you have the nurturers from cancer season i mean fathers don't get enough credit and that's not a diss to you know the mothers that have had to go through shit but i mean you know there's good fathers out there too and that's what i want to set forth so also want to give a special shout out to all the non-fathers out there who managed to make it another year without any children. You know, we see you, King. Your pullout game is strong. Keep it up. We're so proud of you. Okay, let's go ahead and get to it. I got to set the space here. Um, oh, gosh. Horrible. <laughs> Told y'all we're in 69 sign season. Height of um, emotional intimacy. Look at this. Shout out to Mama Coco. Look. Big dick energy. <laughs> I do have pussy fairy around here somewhere, but I burnt a lot of that. And you know, yeah, a lot of y'all need some encouragement. A lot of y'all, and this, this doesn't have to be exclusive to uh, cisgender or born males. This is just masculine energy, period. So, I mean, we're in, I know we're in a feminine energy of the season right now, but we always need both whenever we can. Yin and yang. But some of y'all need a shitload of big dick energy. So. I'll go ahead and burn some of that for y'all. Set the intent here. I don't know. Some of y'all are acting like a bunch of bitches in the situations you're in right now. And you definitely could use a pick me up. Or cheering up. And not with sympathy, dick. Or compassionate coochie. So. <laughs> Some of y'all need a flow from the abundance well that you once had again. A lot of you guys I sense on my feed here are very successful people. I just, I was going through my list of followers and, you know, insights and, you know, just um, stats and things. And a lot of you guys, you, you have a lot going for yourselves, but you probably have lost it um, to a situation or someone, especially relationships that has um, made you think, oh, wow, made you think that you're not enough. I'm not surprised that I got the king of cups here. 
for this reading. The King of Cups is about mastering your energies, including your emotional shit. You see how there's a crash of waves going on around him. Like there's even a ship and he just, he in the cut. He cool, calm and collected as fuck. Like he copacetic, like I got this. This is the type of energy that I need you guys to be in right now. You guys are probably going through some tumultuous shit that is challenging the king of your world that you know that you are. And so you need to maintain and sustain on that throne, no matter how deep the waves get or crazy or no matter what the fuck is going on around you. You need to be like the king and stay in position. Don't let nobody take you out of position just because they feel all low about their self-esteem, or whatever have you. And this is crazy. I'm supposed to be shuffling my cards, but generally whenever I just go by the first instinct, um, whenever cards fall out, fall out. Three of Pentacles. Some of you guys are working on something very, very important. And Cancer season is about laying down roots. I know Taurus is about foundations as well as an earth sign, but Cancer is definitely very grounded in and of itself too. Remember, this is the uh, cardinal energy. Well, the second of cardinal energy of the Zodiac, but also still the strongest because it's the first of water energy. Because um, Aries is the first cardinal. But at any rate, um, we have the three of pentacles here, which there's a couple of important projects that you guys got going on. And you probably have a couple of people willing to step in and help you. Uh, a couple of people that are more than willing and ready to go on whatever projects that you have going in your head. So, and some of you, I feel like this is writing. I don't know if it's like writing and drafting down plans or the career. I feel like it's the plans, but you definitely need to get started. You definitely need to get started on your shit because the full moon in Capricorn, which is about a hard worker is going to culminate some of those goals for you that you have going. So um, definitely start laying those foundations down and start planning early. Uh, let's see here. Is there anything you want to tell the people about their inherent emotional um, state? The thing is, a lot of people like that question about their love life. I want you guys to know that life is not all about fulfillment and just in your love life. It's about fulfillment in yourself as well. And cancer energy is very good with that. Um, when you only base your survival and, you know, fulfillment off of one thing, it becomes very problematic. Because then you can't base it, because that's not fair to just base it on one entity. I think that's what the uh, Three of Pentacles is supposed to tell you about. You know, you spread out the talents that you have. Don't just put your, all your eggs in one basket. You know, utilize all your avenues, utilize all the all the things that can bring you fulfillment, everything that makes you happy. And I don't know why this came up, but even though Three of Pentacles is about like saying your goals and stuff, you guys need to be careful of tr love triangles and threesomes and shit. Um, if you're going to be engaging in that, you need to make sure that the terms are set very, very carefully. Because remember, in cancer season, shit could get out of control. Nobody's going to get, you know, this is not just about. People getting sad or the stereotype that cancer season has. This is about people getting angry. Very, very angry. So, And that's going to fuck up your foundation and your plans that you had going because you were playing around too much. So keep your emotions under control. This includes your sexual urges, okay? Men, say it with me. Seminal retention. Women, restraint. <laughs> All right. No monsoons. OK, hold the water. There we go. Just hold hold the fluid. Hold the water. Just, just and if you are going to be giving it out, give it in moderation. OK, you need to be dosing that shit to certain people. Cause some motherfuckers, they can't handle that. Like <laughs> you give them. That's like um, pouring, pouring a gallon of water into a shot glass. It's too much. And for some people, they'll overindulge in that shit in any way. Anyway, I wonder why they drowning. And bitch, you better learn how to swim before you go in. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. <laughs> Queen of Swords. I'm not sure what order that fell out in. That just did fall out the deck there. Uh, watch what you say to people. From Gemini season, we did learn to watch our mouths. I mean, even me too. That's why I um, approach these channel talks very carefully. Because this is sensitive information. People can buck themselves up becoming over-dependent on these particular readings. Um, Remember, tarot is about making your own decisions. At the end of the day, you are the queen and king of your own castle. You are the conductor of your own train, the pilot of your own plane. Damn, that's bars. 
<laughs> so I'm not surprised that I got some of these court cards in relation to the three of swords here. So see, look at all, look at this, the yin yin yang here. You have masculine energy here, king of cups. You have queen of swords here with some feminine energy, even though this is um, air sign um, or even air stuff going on here. I'm not sure what signs these symbolize, but um, we have some air energy here with a lot of nurturing queen energy because you know she doesn't take no shit. I mean, look at her face. Look at that. She ain't taking nobody's shit. She's like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Try me if you fucking want to. That's the type of energy. That's the type of big dick energy that you need to have. Okay. So you and even with yourself too, like you need to be able to discipline yourself and say, look, honey, I know this is what we want, but this ain't what we need right now. We we need to get our shit under control. We need to get these projects together, and we need to make sure that foundations are set before we take off on anything. Otherwise, you're gonna have a whole lot to say. You're gonna be engaging in a lot of pointless arguments that could have been avoided if you had just set the foundation earlier and took care of your emotional state. Again, not even again, this be the first time I'm saying this in the video. Um, prevention is better than curing and cleanup <laughs> and damage control. And this is funny, you have the king here, the queen here, and then the three. So I wonder why three is all about nurture. There's a lot of threes coming up for this. Um, and so, it's very important for you guys to make sure that um, you maintain boundaries, first and foremost, and to make sure that you and others around you understand the terms and the path by which you will be traveling going forward this year. So that's all I have for that deck there in the Lotus. Um, I'm being led to this one, which dives. Oh, I love this deck. It's so fucking pretty. I love this fucking deck. My great grandmother led me to this deck. Um, to, oh, this is about family. That's why. Um, family origins. Um, here we go. Five of Pentacles. Oh. Delays around money coming in from the cold. Financial stuff is also a part of cancer season. You guys need to be very careful about spending uh, during this season because um, funds are going to be very short for some time until things um, align back up again. Um, a lot of you guys have had to take, um, have been very lucky and had to take some refuge either with a family member or uh, somebody that deeply cares about you until you get um, your financial situation squared again. And five is the number of conflicts, but five is also a lucky number two in that things will turn around. But it's saying here, um, what is it? Delays around money coming in from the cold. So delays around money because you've seen those gas prices. You have seen those gas prices, okay? You guys need to be very careful. It's like the price of everything keeps going up. And so you're going to find your money depleting very fast. And so which means that we, a lot of us are finding ourselves having to um, bring in more money than what is coming out. I mean, this is probably a constant, but even so more now because they keep raising the price of things. So money is disappearing into the void faster than usual. So be very careful. Again, this is why they're asking you to restrain your emotional self. Because emotional spending is a problem too. That can get you into a lot, a lot of trouble. And then you'll find yourself in Leo season not very, feeling very confident and bright because you've been drained. You've been drained out in the previous season. And I do like my moon phase deck, but I'm being led to draw from the spirit deck first. Hold on. Bear with me. And I even got a chance to glance into my deck about. Um, Ace of Pentacles, abundance is coming soon. Just, just hold on tightly. It's not that all this effort that you're going to be putting in isn't going to be worth it or that it's, or you're not going to have any fun, but you just have to delay a couple of things for a while, okay? You have the turtle. Focus, concentration, steadiness, sure-footedness, groundedness, reliability, retreat, security, determination, and perseverance. I'm not surprised. And it's a sea animal too, see? Cancer is also the holder of the oceans as well. So this also rolls over animals in the ocean. And so um, turtles also have, have their shell as well. So, I mean, shoot, that should have been our freaking symbol, the fucking turtle. <laughs> yeah, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, 69 or some shit. <laughs> 60 turtle, I don't know. Um, I don't know why the Ninja Turtles came up in my head, but very fierce creatures too. I mean, we, I guess... Um, what they're trying to ask you is that channel the energy of the turtle during this time in your pursuits and knowing that slow and steady wins the race. And I think 
I saw Four of Pentacles, but I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to have to draw from the moon deck just because I want you guys to have all the information as much as possible. I know my channel is running a little longer than usual, but it is my season after all. So be patient. Ooh, you're very close to achieving your goal. All right, you guys, look, don't fucking give up, okay? You are almost freaking there, dude. Like sometimes the biggest mistakes and letdowns happen when you give up just when you're freaking close, okay? It's like uh, that picture, um, I think the dude was digging in a cave and um, he was trapped in the ground and that one little nick would have got him back to sunlight again. Again, we're in moon season, Cancer with the moon, and Leo's ruled by the sun. So you're going to see the sun shine again. But you just need to give that one, you know, just try one more time. Give that one little inch, that one little kick, just one more time. You know, just give it one last, one last kick, and things are going to break through. But don't give up now, man, because you're going to be very upset when you give up on something and you look back and all it required was that last attempt. So, and this is what, give you a smooth. And see, you're, it's, you're in the dark there. It's going to be fine, you guys. You're almost freaking there. Don't give up, okay? And last but not least, my favorite cards, the self-care cards. And the self-care cards are actually my first deck. It's not actually a tarot deck, but it was like more so of empowerment cards I got back when I was in college when tarot was first introduced to me by um, a friend of mine named um, Valerie. And so, I mean, I've been delving in tarot since I was eight, but that's when it really started to really try to show itself and when I really delved into it. And as a cancer, of course, I'm a nurturer. So, you know, I'm going to take care of you guys. Time, 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 time. My favorite one. All these little cancer themes are coming up. This is great. This is beautiful. Time. Look at that. Looks like we're in space, too, in that background. Schedule a sacred date with yourself. You deserve time for your life. Some of you guys have been caretakers for people for some time, especially our Cancer and South Nodes and um, a couple of our other placements too. And you haven't been taking time for yourself. And as a result, your well has run dry and you've become very crabby and cranky with people, which as is such with the Cancer and energy of the crap. And so you need to take some time. You need to take five. Like now, right now, if this video has reached you, you need to stop everything that you're doing right now. Take some time off from work. I, I know it's probably the last of your PTO that you have, but you'll get it back. OK, but right now you need to take the time. If you don't do that, you're going to be more exhausted and shit is not going to get done. OK, and then you're going to be all out of control in every area of your life, every area of your life, because you didn't stop to take the time to take care of yourself. When you take this time, shit starts moving again. You see that? Even though you feel like, oh my gosh, if I take some time, I'm going to be wasting time. No, self-care is part of the plan. That is part of the schedule, okay? These plans are not going to come to fruition if you don't take that time out. Otherwise, again, slow and steady wins, wins the race. I mean, even with my workout today, I mean, I did like, I'm used to doing what? 30 minutes cardio, maybe an hour of weight resistance, but today I had to shorten it. You know, I'm a person, I'm a big uh, person. Excuse me, I'm a person big on uh, not showing off. I'm just going to show results, okay? And this is what you need to be focused on. You need to be showing results. But if you don't take that time, you're fucked, okay? And then you're going to go into Leo season pissed and upset because you didn't take the time. You didn't set the steps. You didn't establish the foundations. You gave up too fast. Um, you probably didn't set the boundaries and let people talk you out of shit that you shouldn't have let them talk you out of. Your emotions all, you're letting shit get to you. Your emotions all over the fucking place. You're losing your mind. And then, then look where you're going to be back at. You're going to be back at square one. Okay. So what have we learned? Let me embody some cancer season stuff for y'all. What did mama say? What did mama say? Okay. Mama's all, mom is always right. Okay. Daddy too. We got to learn. And I think this is all parental energy, too. Like we have to personify the um, the parental energies, positive ones. If you're a bad parent, don't think this. We're not talking to you. OK, um, embody the parental responsible parental energies that uh, direct us and drive the best in our lives. Um, and so another thing that I wanted to share with you guys, too, before we go, is about family energy. Um, a lot of you guys, it's going to be. 
it, it is uh, very pivotal of you guys to start uh, leaning into your family origins of, of any kind, um, especially for us that have had bad parent parental figures. Um, little disclosure about me. I've had a very, 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 very tumultuous and volatile relationship concerning mother energy. My great grandmother was um, my biggest mo mother figure and she meant a lot to me. Um, even my auntie as well, um, uncle, um, father figure with nurturing energy, um, even though he's a Capricorn. And a lot of us are struggling through that. We have like a irresponsible father or a um, just nasty acting mother or whatever have you. And parental energy doesn't have to entail the immediate family members that um, you have. This could be anybody that has been a a rock to you, a, a pivotal source of support for you. And cancer is all about support as well. So you guys need to start surrounding yourself with people who are going to be supportive of you um, and help you grow and drive your way into or your way in your path into your ultimate define fulfillment. And um, yeah, I mean, I lost the thought. Oh, yeah. You want to surround yourself with people ultimately um, that hold you down. And yeah. Well, how did I want to end that? Yeah. Support yourself with people and surround yourself with people who hold you down, not let you down. And won't let you go down. So I'll end the channel with that. I'll just put, I'll put the quote at the end of it. But that's all that I have for today. Um, if you want any readings or want to hit me up, you're going to have to hit me up after. You can hit me up on June 27th through the 2nd. But then I'm going to be gone on vacation in Florida um, after that. I mean, you can still send me some messages. But um, again, it's my season, cancer season. So don't expect a very, very fast reply. But if you need me, just hit me up, realmissmickeyj, gmail.com. Um, and that's, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I want to find that freaking quotation because I know I'm not saying it right. I need it to hit in a way that's going to be empowering for you guys. And just, I'm sorry, I just, I have the need to say that right. Here we go. Surround yourself with, there it is. We're going to close with that. <laughs> So um, I just want to go ahead and thank our guides, universe, ancestors, God, however God manifests for you in your life, um, spirit, um, your higher power, your creator, um, your divine. We just want to thank them, um, angels, uh, even fam family guides, um, ancestors for um, leading us into this uh, divine part of the channel today. And um, whatever answers have been imparted upon us for this particular channel, let it resonate and culminate with the people who will ultimately positively change the world for the better. And so again, surround yourself with people who are down for you, not people who let you down. I love you all so much. Happy 69 sign season. Um, indulge responsibly. And I will see you guys uh, probably when the moon is full in Capricorn. Otherwise, I'll see you guys during Leo season. You take care. I love you. Now what you, you say? Know you're not good. Now what you, you say? Know you're not good. Now what you, you say? Know you're not good. Now what you, you say? Know you're not good. You original, you not a copy. copy. You a bone bless, you don't need for Sachi. Walking down the street, yeah, they talking about, talking about you. Can't enjoy life, no, not without you. Everything paid for. Pain.